Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, October the 12th. It is almost 8.30 right now. I am getting ready for work. Wednesdays are late day, so I don't have to be there until um, like 10. And so I love Wednesday mornings. So I was able to get up and go to the gym this morning. I came home and got a shower and ate my breakfast and had my Bible study. And I just wanted to kind of take a little bit of time and just do like a little get ready with me like chit chat kind of thing um just so y'all can get to know me more because I love that when I'm watching others on YouTube like I like to feel like we're friends or something you know that's just how I feel about it so yeah let's get this started as you all know my name is Megan name. and so I am 20 years old uh live in South Alabama. My family originally moved here when I was four. Um, we actually moved from Michigan, so a lot of people don't believe me when I say that because I do have a pretty thick country accent. So, but I mean, I have grown up here like my whole life, like majority of my life. So I picked it up a lot more than any of my other family members. My brother has a little bit of an accent. We're five years apart. Um, he is older than me, so. People will tell you all the time, like, talking to my mom, she sounds like she's still from up there. I went to school here. I moved to Birmingham to go to cosmetology school after I graduated high school in 2020. Um, cosmetology has been my dream since I was little. Like, I literally used to carry around a little, like, Bratz mannequin head and braided her hair, like, anything. I used to always think I could braid. Y'all, I could not. I could not. But we're much better now. Um, it's like I always told my parents when I was little, that's what I wanted to do. Um, in middle school, I kind of changed my mind a little bit just because... Everybody just kind of made it out like, oh yeah, you can't make a career off that unless you're like somewhere big, which I mean, I don't fully agree with that, but I mean, it does help to be in a bigger place, and so I'll get to that in a minute, but yeah, I kind of went back and forth with a couple of different things throughout like high school, I guess, and then junior year is when I really like, I was like, you know what, like nothing else I didn't have a passion for anything else, I guess. And so I was like, you know what? I don't want to spend the rest of my life doing something that I don't want to do um, and miss out on this dream. And so I told my parents, and they were fully supportive of me doing uh, some... People don't believe that you can make a living off of it. Um, I had people that did doubt me, you know, people that literally told me no I don't believe in you but y'all let your haters be your motivators but for real though like if people don't believe in you let that literally be your motivation to prove them wrong I'm so thankful for it I mean it was a rough year do not get me wrong like so fast-paced um I literally moved up there the fall after I graduated high school which was also during like the pandemic like when things were really bad um and so it was scary definitely scary moving away from such a small town um to a very big city but I'm so thankful that I did because I am now working at Nevada Salon in North Florida um like in the Panhandle and so yeah, it, like, that is why I love this area, that I am close enough to work in a bigger city, um, and make that living, and, like, have a different clientele, you know, I kind of get the best of both worlds, it is, like, an hour drive, but I'm able to kind of have my home, have my, my people here with me, but then I can also go down there and just, like, get away and have my own clients, and just, just have fun like I love it and that's what I've always wanted I was like I want to do something that I truly enjoy and I, I do um, um, 
I'm sorry. This is kind of all over the place, but I just, like, love talking like this. So, yeah. Moved to Birmingham when I graduated. I, it was rough for me. Um, especially being away from my family. I started struggling with a lot of anxiety, um, when I was up there. Um, which you'll probably hear me talk more about because it has been a struggle of mine definitely within the past year or so but thank god like like there is hope there is hope um so it was very rough i was ready to move home and so i moved home from birmingham the day i graduated school um and got this job and i have been like i started there like a week after I graduated cosmetology school and so I have now been there for over a year like just a few weeks ago and so okay so anyways I kind of feel like this is like a you know like the first day of school when they're like all right tell me an interesting fact and you're like honestly all that I thought about was cosmetology school and stuff but anyways, um, I was a majorette all throughout high school. I started actually twirling when I was in third grade. So I twirled from third grade all the way through middle school, high school, and I loved it. Like, that's something I truly miss, um, which we are doing like a little alumni game next week. And so I will get to twirl at that, and I'm so excited, um. I may take y'all along for a little bit of that, so I'm super excited about that. Um, like I said earlier, I have one older brother. He is married, and they have a son. His name's Emerson. Y'all will probably see him in some of my videos, too. Y'all, he is, like, the funniest kid, and he, I just love him. I have one dog. She is also insane. Um, her name's Rayleigh. Rayleigh's! I don't know where she's at. Funny story about her. I got her when I was living in Birmingham. And I had been telling my parents, I was like, you know, like, I want a dog. Like, I had two roommates in Birmingham. Um, but, like, we were all just doing our own thing. And so, like... I just struggled a lot like I just I need I wanted somebody there with me um cuz y'all it is hard to make friends like I had friends there but not like hey let's go to this let's go to this you know not what I was used to in high school and everything in which I still am struggling with that now um just finding my people because like my best friend Chloe is gone to school my other friends are gone to school um and so it's just it's hard like growing up it's hard y'all but it's good um sorry back to Rayleigh anyways I've been telling my parents I was like I just like need somebody like something I don't know I was just lonely and I needed a dog and so I had been telling my parents for a while I was like you know like I really really want one like you know and so they were like, Megan, like, you have, I think when I got her, I had like four months left in my lease, um, and we weren't supposed, like, if you have a dog at the apartments that we're at, you had to pay like a pet fee and then like a monthly fee too, um, and so my parents were like, Megan, like, you, you can't get one right now, and so I'm like, okay, okay, well, mm, little did they know, some people that I knew from here from back home we're getting rid of their dog well like rehoming her and they just didn't have time for her and so I was like oh my gosh like if I can find the pictures of when we first got her y'all she was just a little like fluff ball bright blue eyes she's an Australian Shepherd and lab mix and I was I just fell in love with her when I saw it and I was like mm, I have to get this dog and so me and my roommate 
<laughs> drove to Montgomery at like nine o'clock on like during the week sometime. I did not tell my parents, y'all. Um, and they did have Life 360 on me. Yeah, they didn't know we went to Montgomery. But anyways, so we drove to Montgomery and got her. And I was like, yo, I just got a dog and I didn't tell my parents. I was freaking out inside, y'all. But I was like, you know what? You're, you're 20 years old. Like, no, I was 19 then. I was 19. And I was like, you know what? Like, you're living on your own. You gotta, you gotta make these decisions for yourself. And so I did. Y'all. So I texted my parents the next day. Let me also add, it was April Fool's Day. It was April 1st. I texted my mom and I was like, hey, do you remember like when I told you I wanted a dog? And she was like, yes, Megan. But like we said, like you can get one when you move out. And I was like, well, I got one last night. And she was like, are you serious? And so I, she didn't believe me because it was April, it was April 1st. And I was like, no, like, this is not a joke. Like, I really did. So I sent her the picture. Hold on. So I sent her the picture of the dog. And I mean, I'm in it. So like, she knows, like, this ain't just a picture off of Google. And so she was like, well, I mean, it's, it's yours, I mean, you're going to have to provide for it, all this, blah, 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 and she was like, well, what are you going to do about, like, the fee, and I was like, mm, as long as they don't know about it, nothing, y'all, I hid this dog in my apartment for the last, like, four months, and so then, my plan was not to move back home when I graduated, so... When I told my parents, hey, I am moving back home with y'all. Ready, come with me. And so, now they love her. But I just always think it's funny that I didn't tell my parents. Um, I have a boyfriend, y'all. I love him. Um, I won't give y'all the whole story of how we met right now. Because that's like a... That can be a whole nother video. But, yeah. We've been together for... A little over six months almost seven months now um I love him he is my best friend we literally do everything together um because he is my best friend like he's he is my person especially um that like a lot of my friends are gone to school I mean everybody my age not everybody but most people my age are gone to college still and, like, my schooling was only a year program. And so, I mean, I moved back home and I'm working a full-time job. And it can be hard. But, y'all, I'm so thankful that God put him in my life. Um, we have, we've had struggles. Like, especially us both having to just work through um, stuff from our past relationships. But... God is so good, and He has helped us through so many struggles um, just in this short time that we have been together. Um, and so, yeah, y'all will, will see more of Him for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just about ready now. And it is my mom's birthday. And I told her I'd go get her a coffee or a tea before I leave for work. So I've got to get going. Um, I hope that was kind of fun. I just love talking. Um, and so it is fun just being able to talk to y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, I know I didn't just like go through a list of, hey, I do this, I'm this, I'm this. Even though I kind of did. But. Yeah. I just wanted to do this. And I hope y'all. Will subscribe. And stay tuned. Oh I didn't even really talk about that. Like. This has been like a little. Little dream of mine. For a while now. 
probably since like February. Um, it was actually a funny story. I I keep saying that every single time I have something to tell. It's really not funny. I had my tonsils taken out um, in February. And let me just tell y'all. Nah. -uh. Like, get them things out when you were young. Y'all, it feels like razor blades in your throat. I didn't believe them when they said that. Mm. It's true. That's when I started watching, like, so many vloggers and stuff like that. And I have my favorites that I watch. And I'm sure I'll share them with y'all at some point. Um, and I was like, you know what? Like, this would be so much fun. Like, even if it doesn't get big. Even if I don't make any money on here. Like, I don't care. I just think this is so much fun. And it's just a way for me to step out of my comfort zone a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I just, that's a little backstory of why I started this. I just thought it would be fun. I just kind of felt like God was calling me to it. Um, a platform just to kind of share his love also. Um, so I'm going to end this video saying God loves y'all. Um, I hope y'all have a good day and I'm just so thankful for all the support that, um, I have been shown, um, starting this out and so i hope y'all will continue to support me um by liking and subscribing to my channel and just yeah i mean i don't even know what else to say but i hope y'all all have a good day a good week um i'll be praying for all of you and i will see y'all next time so bye y'all